Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how my soap turned out first off bat. Uh, it looks like this. I think it turned out pretty nice. I am pretty happy with it. Um, I'll turn around and show you the back. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased. I think it turned out nice. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to turn all this into this. Today we're making sweet and spicy pepperettes. Um, I am using a 70-30 mix of turkey and pork. Because uh, the last time I did 80-20 it was a little bit dry, but um, anyways, I still they were still really good though. So, uh, But I'm going like, to increase the fat a little bit. But anyways, I used pork butt that I ground up. And I also used turkey from our turkeys we had. I ground that up, some that was left from the fall. So anyways, yeah, we're going to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do after I've got my gr make sure you got your ground turkey and pork mix. Then the first thing you're going to do is take uh, a quarter cup of maple syrup and add that to the mix. Then you're going to take a quarter cup honey garlic sauce and add that. Then you're going to take a quarter cup of brown sugar. Packed brown sugar, in fact. Add that in. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of Instacare. I already added the one half, so I'm adding the one teaspoon. Then we're going to add three tablespoons of salt. Then we're going to get put in half a tablespoon of black pepper. And then we're going to add half a tablespoon of red pepper flakes. Half a tablespoon of garlic salt. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper. One teaspoon of paprika. One tablespoon of hot sauce. I'm using sriracha. Oh. <laughs> One tablespoon of hot sauce. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of coriander. And half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now we're going to get half a cup of water and add this to our mix.
Now I'm going to start mixing this up and then I'm going to mix it up with my hands once I start getting it going here. Okay, so I'm using the sausage machine that we got in the fall to process some of our turkeys. And um, I'm adding on this, uh, the pepperette, the one to make pepperettes, the tube to make pepperettes. And then I'm going to fill this tube with my meat. Okay, so I got these intestinal casings. They're fake, um, like artificial at um, my butcher shop, but they're the right size to do the pepperettes. So I'm going to get this on here properly. As much as it'll fit. I'm just going to tie my end off. Okay, so now that it's filling up, I'm just going to twist my pepper at one way. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm twisting it one way. And then the next time I fill it, I'm going to twist it the opposite way. So I'm twisting towards my wall right now. And I'm going to twist towards me with the next one I do. I'm going to turn this down a little bit to make sure you guys can see what's going on. And I try to make them roughly the same size. You can make them whatever size that you like. Okay. Now I'm going to twist towards me because I just twisted towards the wall. Okay, now as far as drying goes, you have a few options. If you're lucky enough to have a smoker, then you can, you know, you can stick them in the smoker, uh, dry them that way. Um, apparently they're really, really good with the smoker. I've never tried them that way. <laughs> I don't have a smoker. Um, Cecil does want to build one at one point, but it doesn't matter right now. <laughs> so I am just going to use my oven. Um, I have also used uh, above my wood stove to dry out meat. <laughs> Um, and I've also, uh, like I've dried it over like a, a wood fire, but, um, anyways, I am using, going to be using my oven to dry these. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you need to have your oven at around 200 degrees. That's what I'm having. That's what I'm going to have mine at. Um, you're going to want to put something like a pan or a tin foil or a tin foil on a pan on the bottom of the oven so you can catch the drips of grease because these will drip grease and uh, it can cause pretty big mess um but anyways i will show you just exactly what i do with these in the oven basically all i've done here is hang my pepperettes over my racks and i'm going to leave them for a few hours and once i notice that they're drying up and you know they're done this is how they turned out um we really like them we were just eating a few <laughs> sampling them but um, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, take care and we'll talk to you later. Bye.